Uh, greetings, Aries, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Well, let's dive right in and see what the cards have for you, Aries, for the Attention Portal, October 10th today, and how this uh, ripples out into the rest of uh, your month and the end of 2024. And uh, this is what the cards want you to know, Aries. And this is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And you come out with the Queen of Cups. This could involve a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But you're uh, having a lot of deep feelings. That's the general uh, energy around you right now, today. Deep feelings, uh, sentiments, feeling love, feeling the ability to give and receive love, maybe having deep um, emotions, uh, intuitions, psychic uh, stirrings, insights, uh, because you're taking time to meditate. Well, meditation is going to be the way for you to really tap into your emotions, to get those downloads through uh, meditation, prayer, sleep, dreams, resting. And uh, as you do that, you're going to be able to get new ideas at the very foundation of what you want to grow, what you want to work on. You might be having a career change, Aries, because you've got this new a seed and the knights go with the momentum uh, toward their goals, toward what they want to grow. Uh, and you're growing this in the earth. You're making this real, these feelings, these downloads uh, from prayer and meditation. You're going to work on that. You're working on your feelings, slow and steady, with diligence and loyalty. But this could also say that whatever this uh, Queen of Cups and the um, Four of Swords, what you're resting, meditating on your feelings might be taking time. It could be slow energy. And uh, you've been juggling uh, with that infinite uh, power you have, tapping into your um, higher mind at this time to deal with the ups and downs of life, of your finances, of what you have been working on. Maybe you've been juggling two jobs, uh, Aries, and now you're uh, feeling like, wow, I need to take a break. I need to just rest. You could be needing uh, to heal uh, from an injury or from uh, an illness. But you're juggling and balancing that out because uh, you're ready to have a vision uh, to take out. You're, you've put something out and uh, you, that you've been juggling. You put it out uh, in this waters and you're waiting. Is it going to come in or out? Is it in the uh, flow or the, um, is the waves coming in or out? Uh, is the tide coming? But you're waiting for your ships and you have a lot of vision and you are already stable. Aries uh, energetically that's of the fire so you've got fire and earth and water and air so you're balanced in all of the uh, elements all of the suits and you're going to let go um, as you look out there of any uh, poverty consciousness that you're not good enough that you're not able to receive uh, what your vision is out there what you put out you maybe you're feeling like well what I put out there won't come back in. I'm not good enough. I'm left out. Uh, but as we know, you've got that deep inner knowing from the Queen of Cups uh, and the ability to work and to balance and to change and to pray and to meditate. And so this is saying to let go of that at this 1010 portal and to take time to appraise actually in a way what you actually have worked on, what you put out there. And do you want to keep planting and investing here? Or are you making an appraisal, a logical, uh, earthbound uh, decision about what to do with this uh, coin, this offering, what you want to um, do to heal any sense of lack and to move on from a feeling left out? Uh, and you're going to move into a sense of what the environment is saying communicating with you quickly. There's a lot of energy coming at you, Aries, uh, from the environment, uh, where uh, you might be uh, actually getting a lot of emails or, or uh, text messages, phone calls about what you put out there. And information now is coming in. And you could be moving out of this despondency about what you've grown, what you've worked on, uh, feeling like maybe you haven't gotten enough money or don't 
haven't uh, built up enough resources at this time. But your hope and fear is the five of swords that uh, there will be a sense of loss, of defeat. Um, that's your hope and your fear. And so you have two fives, so five and five is 10. And this uh, showed up in, um, I think, the reading of Taurus. But look into that. But at any rate, this is a card about facing uh, the facts in this 3D, this matrix. Uh, it's not really real because you're never left out in the cold. You have that spiritual resource always within you. It's your belief system uh, that is holding you back, that maybe is feeling like you're not able to stand your ground or that you've been bullied. But the communication is coming in quickly uh, from your environment because it wants you to know uh, that you're needing to move on. Uh, you've got the 6-6. Six, six. And when I see two sixes come up in a reading, uh, that is uh, saying to me uh, that you're on the right path, Aries. You're on the right path to move on uh, from whatever was uh, you were fighting, whatever what you felt like, whether you were the bully or whether you feel victimized. You're moving away uh, from those troubled waters here. And you're moving on because you're coming into a time of healing that inner child. You're taking just what you need. And see that wand that the fairy one is holding? This is the wand that you're standing here that was your plow. So now this plow has become a, a, a oar to move you on. And you've got that... Uh, you're moving away from something that's fighting, defeating, that's not working. So you can come into a more reciprocal, balanced, uh, equal give and take type situation, a relationship, um, or financial situation. And a career move is going to be important, maybe to move away uh, toward something that's going to be uh, at the ground. Uh, it's very slow and steady. Maybe you want to put a vision out there. And let's see what it is that you need to know about moving on in this sense of reciprocity. Well, you're moving away from any kind of uh, entanglement. You have two eights. And so whatever was mentally restricting you, you're moving quickly away from it. Uh, and you're going to get out of any interference or self-sabotaging energy uh, so you can uh, move forward uh, quickly. Aries uh, toward this uh, sense of uh, a lot of financial wealth, a gift, an inheritance, uh, generosity, a feeling like that you can give out of plenty or that it's easy to take and give and that flow is always around you. And it is coming in with a lot of speed and uh, going, you've got the green light now uh, to move forward. And uh, that is what I have. And at the foundation, well, you have the Ace of Swords. So that's saying, Aries, this is true. This is clear. This is accurate. And this is a new offering. And whatever you received mentally from this reading, it's going to be very important for you because it's a gift of the mind, a new belief about yourself. And so it is. And thank you, Aries, for all your support. And uh, I love doing a reading for these fiery Aries. And have a wonderful day and a wonderful manifestation at the 1010 portal. Bye-bye.